kabisa mtazamaji na karibu tena katika Arocho Live. Kipindi chako ambacho huwa kinadadisi kuchambua na kungamua magwiji wetu wa kandanda na michezo kwa jumla. Hii leo tuko naye Rais President wa AFC Leopards, Daktari Dan Shikanda. Jaya. Yes. Karibu sana ndani ya uh, ndani ya Arocho Live. Asante <laughs> Arocho Live. Kwanza Shikanda, congratulations. Thank you. I'm among the guys who I admire. Kwa hizi misimu miwili umekuwa FC Leopards. Mm -hmm. Kuna wakati FC Leopards ilikuwa inaenda chini. Mm -hmm. I have to congratulate you umeleta a lot of stability at Chingwe. At Chingwe. Mm -hmm. Lakini kabla ya hapo, huyu Dan Shikanda ni nani? Dan Shikanda sijui ndio jita kijana wa mtama mzee, mtazamu ni mzee. Yeah, 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 yeah. Naweza sema mimi ni mzee wa mtaa oh, sasa. Ah, kijana wa mtaa. Kijana wa mtaa. Ndio. Dan Shikanda ni Mkenya aliyezaliwa karibu miaka hamsini na tano zilizopita. Okay. Landimawe kule. Uh, nikaanza kucheza kucheza cheza mpira ya karatasi tulikuwa tunaita Juala huko alafu tukahama wakati nilikuwa naenda standard 3 tukakuja kuishi Maringo Maringo Posta na hapo ndo tukajiunga na kuna kuna kijana anaitwa Barack Uma huyo mm -hmm. ndio my serious mentor huyo tulianzana tukiwa dogo ni brother mkubwa wa Otero wa Musa Otieno uh -huh. familia ile kina ile familia kina Musa uh -huh. So hapo tukaungana tukajenga ka team kanaitwa Bejos na tukaanza kwa ile utoto wetu kucheza cheza mpira wa makaratasi hapa na pale mitaani ma, uh, Maringo Posta tukaanza kwenda Jericho kidogo kidogo So Dan Shikanda ni mwanaspoti ambaye amekuwa mitaani na hiyo sporti sana sana mpira football ndio imetuma Dan Shikanda akakuwa huyu Dan Shikanda unaona leo kwa fupi tu maana kuna mahali ulitaja kwamba ni kandanda ilikusomesha. Yes. Kwa faida ya kijana ambaye anatizama uh, kipindi hii. Ilikuwa je kandanda ikakuweza kuelimisha. <laughs> Arocho kandanda nimecheza kandanda naweza sema sana. Na ninashukuru Mungu hiyo talanta alinipatia kandanda kwa vile kutoka kidato cha pili mpaka chuo kikuu mimi nimelipwa school fees na kandanda. Wow, kutoka form 2 form 2 mpaka university. Mpaka university. Wow. Tuli, nilikuwa ninatoka ni katika familia kubwa. Mm -hmm. Kulikuwa wakati uh, ndugu zangu watatu, Ezesh, Hezron, Patrick na madada zangu wawili Lilian na Grace wamelipwa school fees sababu ya kandanda yangu. Wow. So mzee inamaanisha kwamba wewe mm. uligaramia familia nzima. Uligaramia familia nzima. Siku hizi mimi patia vijana wangu changamoto na wambia nyinyi sasa mmemaliza mpaka university na sioni hata mkisomesha wenzenye mimi nikiwa form 2 nilikuwa nasomesha siblings wangu wow so kandanda imenitengeza na ikaniweka pale niko kweli jambo naweza nataka kupia kusitisi ku in, uh, uh, insist and emphasize kwa kandanda kuna interview nilienda South Africa kikazi mm -hmm. na kama daktari sasa kama daktari kaka kwa hiyo interview na tukafanya interview na nilikuwa nilishtuka sana panelist watatu walikuwa wananijua mm -hmm. na walikuwa wananijua kupitia kandanda wakanikumbusha tulienda huko Elenix wanafuata wow. fuata mpira wow. na nikatoka huko nikakuja Kenya hiyo kazi tulifanya interview huko lakini kwa nafanya hapa nilitoka huko nimepata hiyo kazi so kandanda na hiyo kazi ilini, ilikuwa stepping stone kubwa sana ya kariya yangu kumufuana. Okay. So naweza sema mimi Dan Shikanda ni is a product, product of football. football. Ndio sababu nachukulianga football kwa manani kabisa. Nikiona mtu anacheza na football mm. nasikia uchungu because ilinipatia opportunity kwa hii maisha. Okay. Yes. Tusonge mbele kidogo daktari. Ulijiunga kwanza na Chingwe. Yes. Na Gormahia. Mm -hmm. Kwa fupi tupatie historia ilikuwaaje? Maana wewe ni baadhi ya wale jamaa wachache ambao wamechezea chingwe mm -hmm. na vile vile wamechezea Gor mm -hmm. Very few wewe Tom Juma, eh, Otamax, eh, Maremu, alikuwa anaitwa nani yule? Uh, Kuko na Polo Chen, Polo Chen. Kuna Deo Diambo. Yes, Deo pia alicheza. Kuna mm -hmm. yule aliaga mwanzo yule jamaa ndiye mtoto chuka alikuwa nani? Zangi. Uh, John Kelo Zangi. John Kelo Zangi. Yes. Mm -hmm. Kwa fupi tu. Uh, nilijiunga na FC nikiwa shule, uh, shule ya upili form 5 na 6 elevo kule mangu wow uh, nilikuwa nacheza kwanza nilijiunga na black mamba black, kaloleni kaloleni black Aha. mamba walinitoa katika kotbiro kwa cheza kotbiro na black mamba walikuwa wamepanda na then 
walikuwa wamepata wamepanda league so walikuwa wanajaribu ku beef up squad yao team yao, uh -huh. team yao. na hiyo mwaka nilikuwa nachezea Bejos na nakumbuka tukishinda Cote Biro mara nne mfululizo mpaka tukaambua sasa hamwezi ingia kama team mtaenda kuchezea team tofauti tofauti wow. lakini wow. hamwezi tumeishinda kabisa kuna team inaweza tufunga wow yeah so black mamba walinchukua nikacheza msimu mmoja huko black mamba 84 Huh? alafu nadhani kajiunga na Chingua 85 Chingua kaniona katika hiyo harakati nakumbuka game mbili FC Black Mamba na Black Mamba Gormaya hizo mm -hmm. ni mechi zile mashabika waezi sahau kwa vile nilikuwa kijana mdogo na mambo ilikuwa inafanywa kule kwenye wing <laughs> unawacha watu wametulia wa wamesalimu wa amri <laughs> na ilikuwa so, kama Chingwe so nikaingia Chingwe nilicheza Chingwe miaka tano nikiwa nilitoka nikiwa from, uh, from, from five na six kucheza nikiwa form 5 sana lakini form 6 nilicheza kidogo nikamaliza nikakuja chuo kikuu Nairobi uh, nikachezea chingwe the, the next four years na nilikuwa very active so ikapatikana tulikuwa tunaenda kufanya mtihani na unaona hizi siasa za chingwe hata kama sasa kuna siasa mingi sana inaendelea na ni sensitive sana so mimi nilikuwa nafanya mtihani uh, katika chuo kikuu na FC na chingwe siku hiyo FC na chingwe nilikuwa nabadilishana ubabe FC kichukua mwaka huu napata Gor Mahia na chukua hivyo hivyo. So tulikuwa tunaenda kucheza na Gor Mahia very crucial match. Mm -hmm. Nakumbuka Polo Cheno <coughs> akitufunga, uh -huh. akifunga maiti penye ni uh, free kick sasa ile bado maiti anaweka wall. Anapanga. Anapanga ikakaliwa huko ikaingia. Ika so na sasa hiyo kulikuwa kumefanyika uchaguzi katika chingwe. Uh -huh. Na Sambo alikuwa amechaguliwa chama na mwenzake alikuwa amechaguliwa secretary alikuwa wa Fulham sana. Sasa kukakuwa na utata ikakuwa ya kwamba Sambu akasema haezi fanya kazi na wafula msani sababu wote wanatoka Bungoma kitu kama hiyo. Mm -hmm. So akasema itaida hii mama wafula msani. So akajiuzuu. Aka, aka, akajiondoa. Akajiondoa. Aha. Na wafula msani akachukua Fred Gumo sakuwa acting kwa interim chairman. So hiyo game ya FC na Gor kukakuwa na siasa that tumefungwa tu vizuri ikakuwa na siasa that kuna wachezaji walilipo wasicheze. Wow. Wasikue. Wow. Yaani hizi hizi panganga zinaza mapema nakwambia hizi club zetu hizi vitu zimetoka mbali so mimi nilikuwa chuo nafanya mtihani nimeomba Gian Firusa Tiema najua bwana Shamte kila mtu anajua jambo hilo lilifanyika on friday siku hiyo tumemaliza tulimaliza mtihani on friday na timu ya chuo kikuu uh, ilikuwa inacheza na under 23 ya Zimbabwe wala kina Ndolovu mm -hmm. kumbuka wale mandugu Peter, Peter, Peter Ndolovu na ule Ndolovu mwingine mm -hmm. So tukacheza nao friendly University of Nairobi kwa hiyo kiwanja walikuwa na trainee hapo. So nikaletwa na timu ya university kucheza nikafunga hat trick. So Saturday FC na Gold tunacheza crucial match winner takes it all. Una nashinda amechukua. Ah. Kwa gazeti uh, hiyo asubuhi asubuhi masaa 8 watu wakisoma mimi niko hapo nimepiga hat trick game inakuja kuchezwa. Gold wakafunga FC ikakuwa kuna wachezaji wali lipo wasicheze. Wow. So nika suspendiwa. Yaani wewe kwenda Gormahia ilikuwa kwa sababu ya suspension. Yes. Shikilia tu hapo daktari Dan Shikanda tuweze kuvuta unyunyu eh, mtazamaji. Kumbuka tuko naye rais wa AFC Leopards Dan Shikanda baadhi ya wachezaji chache hapa nchini Kenya ambao wamechezea Gormahia na vile vile Chingwe. Tunazama tukizuka atakuwa anatueleza what next for AFC Leopards msimu huu. Sikae mbali. Karibu tena mtazamaji katika Arocho Live awamu yake ya pili. Tuko naye president wa AFC Leopards, Daktari Dan Shikanda. Ametupatia safari yake vile alivyocheza Kandanda kule chini na sasa ameingia Gormahia. Ni nini ambayo ilikupatia msukumo wa kucheza Gormahia Shikanda? Maana mm -hmm. wakati ule uhasa makati ya Gormahia na FC Leopards ulikuwa mzito sana. <laughs> Zaa ulikuwa mzito zaidi kushinda hata sasa hivi na wakati tulisuspendiwa FC tulisuspendiwa wengi tulikuwa mtihani na unakumbuka Kisanya Kisanya pia alikuwa mtihani Kisanya alafu uh, na Inganga alikuwa na injury wao pia alikuwa anafanya mtihani so tukasuspendiwa uh, nikaanza fanya mazoezi na wazee wa kazi na wazee wa kazi wakakuwa na friendly na Gormaya so kwa friendly na Gormaya coach wa Gormaya Len Julian akaniona akasema ai 
anatafuta winger namba 11 so ikakuwa wakani approach wakaambua niko under suspension but sasa hiyo federation ya obingo na maremo mino wakasema you cannot suspend a student student anaweza decide kama anataka kuchezea timu yote so hivyo ndio gormai alisajili kusajili wa gormai ni kuchezea hiyo continental uh-huh. na nikaendelea kucheza miaka mingine tano kuna mechi ambayo nakumbuka daktari Dan Shikanda anataka pia utupatie kumbukumbu kidogo mm. mechi ya gormai na helenix <laughs> mechi ya mkondo wa kwanza mmepoteza kule Mepoteza afrika kusini moja mkaja Nairobi. Uh-huh. Kuna bao ulifunga uh-huh. kwa mtizamo wangu uh-huh. ndio bao ambayo ilibadilisha Gormeia uh-huh. na ikapatia Gormeia ushindi uh-huh. katika mechi ile. Kwa ufupi hebu turudishe nyuma katika mechi hiyo. Nilikuwa South Africa. Tukamaliza hiyo first leg tukafungwa 3-1. So second leg tena nikakuwa nafanya mtihani. Hii mtihani imeniletea balaa mimi. <laughs> Sasa siku kuwa kwenye camp. Uh, uh-huh. So tukacheza game ya kwanza ile ilikuwa rain off fans wakakata pale nyao stadium pale nyao stadium mm. lazima nileto hiyo game ya pili so hiyo game ya pili unakumbuka hata line up ilianza kusomewa namba 11 nikirudi chini mm-hmm. na after hiyo line up yote ya gormai ilikuwa inasomewa namba 11 nikirudi chini yani ilibidi dan shikanda ajacheze maana nakumbuka mechi ya kwanza pale nyao stadium gormai hawako na nafasi ya kufunga mm-hmm. mvua ilinyesha ndio mm-hmm. lakini hakukuwa na matumaini gormai mashambulizi yalikuwa butu sana mm-hmm. Ikaisha 0-0 at second minute referee akasema mpira hizi endelea kwa turudi kesho yake then it was overconfident lakini wakati sasa nilikuja uh, nilipigwa kwa box the fifth minute penalty polo chenga polo chenga uh-huh. alafu ilikuwa tu nzito tu tulikuwa tunajua hawa tukiwafunga tuki mbili mapema watatupeleka mbio so game plan yetu ilikuwa at least for soft kwa bao moja ile waendelee kuzuia wakijua hiyo uh, wame qualify kwa hivyo vile itakuwa 3-2. Alafu tujaribu dakika uh, 20 za mwisho tujaribu tuimarishe ushambuliaji. So the last 15-20 minutes tukaendelea kushambulia kabisa. So nikafunga bao ya ushindi in the 88th minute. Mm-hmm. Tukashinda tuka 2 nil and we needed those two. Ukawa shujaa. Nikakuwa Hiyo ilikuwa time wa mpira siku hizo. Na mtazamaji wewe pia unaweza kuchangia kupitia uh, mitandao ya Facebook Twitter ama YouTube wakati wako ndio huu. Kama una wazo pendekezwa maswali kwake Daktari Dan Shikanda wakati wako ndio huu. Swali lako litume kwenye Facebook Fred Arocho, kwenye Instagram Fred Arocho ama kwenye YouTube Fred Arocho tutakuwa tunawasiliana. Naona tayari jamaa wameanza kutuma rafa e, Jose Kole anasema e, Shikanda good job unafanya pale Chingwe, mwingine anasema Nderitu Ndash. Anasema hivi anauliza swali. E, Daktari Dan Shikanda ilikuwaje mbona watu wengi wanakuhusisha na Gormeia na wewe ni chairman wa FC eh hapo utajibu hapo baadaye good job shikanda we like what you are doing we anajiita Bakari Kevin akiwa kule maeneo ya Malindi mwingine anasema anajiita Evangeline Hamilton anasema good job tunanawaona kutoka hapa Atlanta Arocho I normally follow Arocho live asante sana Hamilton ukiwa kule Atlanta zidi kutizama na kuna swali ambao umeulizwa hapa mm-hmm. sawa wakati ulipokuwa unaenda uchaguzi wa FC Leopards mm-hmm. jambo hili lilitokea sana mm-hmm. kwa nini watu wanaona kama wewe uzito wako kwa Gormahia na sio FC Leopards ili hali wewe ndio mwenyekiti wa FC Leopards uh, labda unajua uki, wakati wa uchaguzi kulikuwa na hiyo siasa kujaribu kunizuia na mimi nilikuja peupe nikamwambia yes ni football career nilichezea FC 5 years nikachezea Gormaya 5 years ya yeah, nikashinda titles on both side 3 years 3 years na nikamwambia the reason why I went to Gormaya ni kwa patie hizo reason na now nataka kuwa chama wa FC because during my time as a player both in FC and Gormaya niliona zile changamoto tulikuwa nazo kama teams ama kama mpira wetu wa Kenya na itakuwa muhimu sana nikikuja katika uongozi wa mpira nijaribu nisahihishe hizo setbacks tumekuwa nazo kwa mfano FC na Gormaya FC incepted in 1964 we have nothing to show apart from me basi inatembea tembea hapa we have nothing to show as a football club no sports infrastructure hakuna chochote still 56 years down the line hatuwezi lipa wachezaji hatuwezi fanya nini mimi ndo lazima tufanye at least for us to start seeing that this is a serious football club lazima tukue na kiwanja che, na, 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 na kiwanja yetu ya mazoezi mm-hmm. bila hiyo ni kama gari bila inji kwenda wapi kwenda yeah? itasukumo sukumo tu na kisha sukumo sukumo haitaenda pale so katika hii muhula wangu wa kwanza nilijaribu vile 
ninaweza kuhakikisha kwamba we build a team that can win the league but the same same problems zile zilikuwa zinatuadhuru wakati ule inafika pale hakuna pesa inafika pale nini kuna shida mingi zile the team the players cannot concentrate on the league ndio zimekuwa zinatuhaunt so i have embarked fully kujaribu kutafuta kiwanja for afc na ilifika wapi maana yake kuna juzi nilimuona msali um, mdavadi akiwakabidhi senti za kwenda sijui kulipa uwanja imefika wapi tumelipa lipa tumelipa lipa tunasukuma god willing uh, we hope kuwa nayo kiwanja katika the, by the end of this year na hiyo nadhania itakuwa a good turning point to Kenyan football because once FC na goal can establish themselves now better so that they can compete na hizi ma vilabu zingine kama uh, El Hali uh, teams of South Africa kama teams of North Africa at least mpira wetu itaanza kukua because to be honest these are the clubs with the biggest following na mpira ni mashabik na mashabik once they get interested na wanaanza kufurahia itakuwa vizuri so sisi kama FC tukiweza pata pale pale petu tuanze kufanyia mazoezi I think italeta tofauti kubwa na changamoto kubwa sana. Na hapo ndo tuna, eh, tu, 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 tunaona tueleke. Na tukielekea hapo tutajipata tuko pale pazuri. Na mtazamaji zidi kutuma jumbe yako eh, SMS eh, kama una jambo wazo pendekezo ama vile vile swali endelea maana ke muda naona unazidi kunipa kisogo lakini nataka niweze kuwasiliana na wewe. Anasema hivi hapa jamaa jita Medoba Owen anasema arocho hebu muulize shikanda inakuwaje Uh, tunakuwa suspended na FIFA. Hii mambo ya FIFA na usajili wa wachezaji wa Chingwe sio tuweke sawa. Kulikoni. Ah, uh, mimi tu nimekuambia because unapata sisi ni club kubwa. Tutataka kucheza club ni wachezaji. Na wachezaji quality ya wachezaji ni tofauti. Not any Tom Harry and Dick can play for FC Leopards. Yeah? So lazima upate wachezaji wa quality fulani. Na any any good thing comes with a price. Na unapata for example uh, ule coach ametupeleka FIFA Kasambongo alisajiliwa na ile ofisi nyingine tukampata akakuja na wachezaji wake in fact hata wachezaji wake wote alikuja nao pia wametu wametushtaki kule FIFA uh, ule coach uh, tulikuwa tunamlipa uh, ile pesa alikuwa tunamlipa wakati sports pesa alijiondoa sports pesa alikuwa anatupatia 57 million per year imagine from your budget your budget of 70 million 57 million itolewe how do you continue so tukaongea na coach tukamwambia uh, now we cannot pay the salary wacha tu wachane on mutual grounds but coach uh, ndio ali resign na akaenda but pia kwa upande wetu tulilala because we were supposed kumlipa lipa pole pole but remember sponsor ametoka you have to honor your fixtures your obligation is to play football sasa utalipa ule coach ameenda Rwanda wala wachezaji ameenda nao Rwanda ama utalipa wala wachezaji wanacheza hapa ikatubidi ile pesa kidogo tunakusanya tunabambanya tulipe wale wachezaji tuko nao hapa okay so you team iweze kusonga you team iweze kusonga okay tulicheza msimu mzima without sponsorship msimu mzima so by the time tulidhania to recover because tulisajili matokeo mazuri and we saw people getting interest corona ikaingia so the country was locked mpira ikasimamishwa kila kitu ikasimama up to date fans wajarudi Uh, corporate sasa wanatuambia there is no, there is no value watapata all the corporate squad mongea nao tuone vile wanaweza kusaidia sasa wamejiondoa na ngoja fans warudi so it's been a difficult time for us difficult time unapata uh, ile pesa kidogo tunao sisi kama viongozi tuko officials watatu plus tuko na commercial director na CEO tumetumia senti mingi sana zetu kujaribu kuhakikisha kwamba team imesimama team imesimama team imeona match zao but tunitaita marafiki tulisaidia unakumbuka tufanya rando katupatia 5000 tukasaidia saidia kunini tukalipa lipa wachezaji but sasa mwaka huu tulipata uh, sponsor ali ambaye alikuwa anatupatia 40 million mm-hmm. remember it's not enough if 57 million was not enough 40 million tukasukuma sukuma nayo tukakuwa kuwa na mashida hapa na hapa but tukasukuma pahali tumekuwa na very big setback ni federation federation walitusainisha hii mambo hivi ma Uh, TV rights ma sponsors na tangu April hawajatupatia pesa yetu so chingwe hajapokea senti tangia mwezi wa April tangu April wametulipa mara moja between April na September so tunawadai 3.3 million na hiyo 3.3 million ndio muone imeleta uh, in fact hata hiyo imeleta utata juzi utata ile imekuja juzi ni, ni pesa ya betwe ile finali tucheza na Gormania because kuna watu waliambia wachezaji wetu ya kwamba 
officials wamelipwa hiyo pesa kulikuwa na 1 million FC na 2 million goal mine uja tupa pesa kwa nini niwaambie wachezaji wetu umetupatia pesa wachezaji hiyo game hatukucheza au walikuwa wameamua hawachezi baka hiyo pesa tumepewa tulipe so ile changamoto iko hizi clubs we are not generating our own money pesa haingi pesa haingi so when you are not generating your own money hata in any business you just shut down but tumejaribu tuone vile tunaweza uh, jikakamua to stabilize team na vile nakuambia hii kiwanja tumefuata mm -hmm. na god willing nikipata hiyo kiwanja we already have corporates wana, wana, wanasema if you have such an asset tutakuja kuwekeza because unajua hiyo ni a physical a tangible uh, asset that it itahakikisha it kwamba our visibility our, our other things will get value will get, will get value for our money hapo ndio tuko nam zidi kuwasiliana nasi msaji nimesalia na kama dakika mbili hivi eh, ili kuweza kutamatisha kipindi eh, daktari shikanda uko na harambe ama mchango eh, ambayo uko leo eh, nadhani kama masaa tatu kutoka sasa kwa faida mtazamaji ni nini ambayo eh, mnatamna kusudia ku ni pesa ngapi ambayo mnakusudia kuweza ku, kuchanga katika harambe hii na pia kuchukua fursa hii kuweza kuarai na kuasi mashabiki kwa chingwe kuisaidia timu Nikiangalia pale ndakuwa nangalia yeah. shabik Hapa hapa ni shabik unaongea nae Wacha niongea na shabik wa FC Leopards Na shabik wa mpira katika inji Tuko na hii uh, setback ya FIFA Wacheza G1 plus coach Mmoja metupeleka FIFA Na cases ilifanywa Na wakapewa senti kadha Na hizo tunalazimishwa tulipe Kabla tuendele na, uh, na msimu mpya Ama tushushwe daraja Mimi ndambia uh, mafanzo wetu lamna hii. Tuki wakikuja watusaidie tulipe hii pesa. Nina wakikishia ya kwamba. We are moving FC Leopards to the next level. The only obstacle between FC Leopards and the next level ni hii bani ya FIFA. Ile mikakati tumekua tunaweka tangu ni chaguliwe miaka mbili. Saa hindo inakuja kupata ile in, 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 inakuja kukua uh, nyeza sema kisho hili gani? Inafika, inafika kilele inafika kilele na ninawahakikishia kwamba tukiweza malizana na hii FIFA ndipoza tumewaita kwa fundraising tuchange tunaangalia kuchanga shilingi milioni kumi tumalizane na FIFA alafu tutengeneze team tu, tu, turusiwe tusajili wachezaji already tuma identify wachezaji wa watano wale tukiwasajili na tukiunganisha na vijana tunawa wadogo we shall be competitive but on top of that tuna, tunaendelea kuunda uh, muundo msingi ya a sports club a, 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 a football team na once tumefungua nisha hiyo yote na wakikishia tutakuwa tuna generate pesa yetu tutakuwa tunahakikisha kwamba fans wetu wana enjoy mpira ile inachezwa na FC Leopards na pia tunahakikisha kwamba team inaimarishwa kufika ile kiwango inatakana ikue kumalizia daktari Unipatia mawachezaji wako wa hadi ya nyumba kila moja msimu uliopita. Bado unawapatia hadi hiyo msimu huu? Yes, hiyo hadi bado iko. Okay. Na najua kumekuwa na a lot of doubting Thomases, amwezi nipa mishahara mnapea na hadi. Watch FC Leopards in the next two months. Mm -hmm. Especially administratively. Okay. Tunataka tu tu tufungue hizo vitu tulikuwa tunafungua. Alafu tukishafungua utaona eh, zile mikakati tutaanza kufanya. Hizo zitatuma team grow na tulikuwa tumesahau kuwapatia pay bill number ule hataweza fika United Kenya Club our pay bill number is 1964 64 remember FC was formed in 1964 rudia tena hapo unaongeza 64 ingine so the pay bill number is 1964 64 na nakuhakikishia hizi senti tunachanga zitatusaidia kumalizana na FIFA na pia zitatusaidia kufungua hii club yetu kabisa kuna mikakati tunazo ile itatusaidia tuone vile tunaweza jenga pali petu pa kufanyia mazoezi na senti kiwako pia tujenge pali pa kuchezia game so club tunenda kuifungua na tunawakikishia kwamba we are moving to the next level asante sana daktari sh uh, shikanda leo umesema mida ya saa 11 saa 11 saa 11 united kenya club united kenya club yeah wala wataweza kufika 1964 64 pay bill number account ni jina yako ama unaweka fundraising lakini okay. naweza sema uweke jina yako kizipitia tutaona nani alichangia. Okay, na mtazamaji umesikia eh, daktari Dan Shikanda anawarai mashabiki. Wote kwa jumla si lazima tu ni wale wa Chingwe kuisaidia Chingwe. Tunakushukuru sana kuweza kuitizama Arocho Live hii leo tumekuwa na mwenyekiti ama rais wa AFC Leopards 
daktari Dan Shikanda. Hadi wakati mwingine na kutakia siku isiyokuwa na bugda na tuzidi kupatana viwanjani. Asante sana.